It was on the bird. Coach Angus kind of just mentioned that this Georgia Tech team is going to be one that comes to the ball a lot. They've got guys like Dante Smith, Trey Cooler in that backfield. What's it been like kind of prepping for a team that's got a running back committee like that? Yep. Uh, obviously, we know they have a lot of good depth. They have a lot of great backs. So um, I think definitely emphasizing stopping the run game is going to be a priority. I mean, we want passing scenarios. So um, emphasis has been on trying to figure how to contain it, get them to pass the ball, of course, the third down. So I mean, that's just that's how our prep's been. So we should continue to prep that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. This year, uh, Momo, Monty Montgomery are all gone. Uh, they were big time playmakers last year. How, who do you see rising up to uh, to fill in those spots, and, and how do you guys overcome the loss of, of that much talent? Uh, I definitely think uh, we have, especially on the line, we have a lot of up and coming. We have a lot of young people, but uh, Stephen Heron, that's a man that's been tossed around. He's obviously stepping up, taking up that role. Um, we have a lot of good backers. Our DBs are productive, whether it's blitz, PBUs, uh, they're all over the field. So. Um, we have a lot of good people to look at. I don't know if I would give you one, people in specific that you don't already know, but um, I just say what, like watch this, basically. The defensive scheme this year, I guess, is different from last year, but is for you personally, with your position, your responsibilities, has it changed much? Um, obviously, uh, I'm more of a, on the edge now this year. Uh, difference in front from three to four. Uh, I have more edge work edge responsibility, more edge rushing. Uh, last year I was a lot of interior, uh, just, that's just how it worked out. Um, so I think in terms of role, uh, having the flexibility to uh, potentially drop out, uh, rush quarterback from various positions, I think that's something this defense has allowed me to do and expand upon, so. Ashton, I know you've already talked about their, their running backs a little bit, but one of their running backs is, is Travion Cooley, a guy yeah. you know a little bit something about. What's that going to be yeah. like going, in, going against him? What's that like? Uh, I definitely think it's going to be, to me, that's a cool experience. Uh, I know mm -hmm. that people might not think so, but, um, oh, I mean, you go against him in practice, so you, you kind of know how it's like to play against him, but I think being able to meet him on the field would be something that I look forward to, so uh, just really excited for that. Do you think there's anything that's going to surprise people about this defense or something that maybe people aren't talking about enough that you think it's a strength? Let me think. <laughs> um, what are people talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would really say our, like, our, our DBs. I mean, people usually talk about the D front. Uh, I, I think the DBs don't get as much love as they as they should. We got a lot of good DBs, a lot of returning talent. We got a lot of new talent, so uh, it's kind of hard to see uh, from the outside how they fit in. But I mean, from just watching it, they're playmakers. They're going to be all around the ball. They're going to give us more time to rush, stuff like that. I mean, I just feel like they don't get the love they deserve. So that's some of, those are, that's a group to look out for. Ashton, a lot of people were talking about have talked about the linebacker position. How how have you seen TJ Quinn kind of emerge as a guy who's who in the spring game made a ton of plays and, and, yeah. and now has some you know some a little bit of experience. No, I, I, I mean I love TJ. TJ's a, a quiet quiet type, but um, I think he's definitely stepping more into that role, like understanding what the playbook is, how he fits into it, how to give us calls and stuff like that. Um, I think just being able to get game experience is really that's that's really all it needs. He's he's a great player. He's strong. He's fast. He's he's talented. So I'm um, looking forward to playing on the field with him. So how do you incorporate being from Florida and your upbringing into your uh, playing? Uh, I think a uh, big thing in Florida is speed, and that's uh, something like I try to I try to emphasize in my my game. Uh, don't really get breaks in Florida when you play football. So um, trying to try to be relentless, trying to be always around the ball, um, just trying to like being relentless, having a, a high motor. I feel like that's something that I would incorporate, and that's what I try to do every time I'm on the field. So. Ashton, you guys have been working a lot for, for game week. It's been a long time since the final game. When game week finally does arrive, 
Does it feel a little different when the alarm clock goes off? Or, I mean, is it different around the football complex? Uh, you can definitely feel the air is a lot, a lot different. I mean, everyone's, I mean, we're prepping for it every week, but uh, I definitely think there's a, a sense of urgency, as my coach would say, um, from all the guys. So, I mean, we're really tuned up this week. We're looking forward to it just to go down, give people a show. All right. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.